So a little spoiler alert, I wreck in this video. So uh, figured I would open it up with a little crash compilation with a few of the OG ragdolls, including Evil Knievel and of course Seth Enslow. But um, up until the wreck, had a really good race going, so let's check it out. Hopped into the number one spot after the second corner and was really feeling good leading the first lap. So here's a little enduro cross type section. Gives us a chance to see where everyone's stacked up. Glad I'm not eating dust back there. There's Matt rounding out the rear end, right where he needs to be, eating dust and buying me some time. But I knew I'd be seeing him again. So here's a part that really screwed me. I see arrows right there, so I think the track goes that way. Here's more pointing right, so obviously I'm gonna go right. But if you happen to look down the trail and see this yellow pro line arrow, um, you obviously would have taken the pro line. Instead, I am taking the alternate route that cost me about 15 seconds, and I did it for the first three laps each time. So if I have one criticism, it's that pro line should be obviously marked before any sort of go around or cutoff. So this is towards the end of the second lap. I know that Matt is gaining ground. He's almost there. As you can see, he is just a few seconds behind. Now it's time to hold him off as long as I can, which didn't happen because right up here, 
I completely puss out on this jump that I should have been hitting the whole time. He goes flying by, which I was all right with. Time to learn from him and run his pace. So for as dry as it was, uh, the dust wasn't overly terrible. Uh, a lot of the sections of the trail had really good dirt and really good conditions. Of course, it is a crossroads race. They always do an excellent job with the track. Bikes ride first, so there weren't any awkward quad ruts, and the silt wasn't absolutely terrible. So yeah, awesome course, once again. <laughs> So here I'm pretty comfortably running his pace, which is super encouraging. I was really looking forward to trying to keep it up the rest of the race, but hold on just a sec. Here I am once again, thinking that I'm taking the fastest line when really I'm giving him a 15 second gift. And when I find out, I'm not too happy. What? So of course when he's in eyesight, it makes it a lot easier to follow and try to keep his pace. But really, I'm still not too far off. Right there he is, trying to chase him down. So really, he's only 10 seconds ahead and I'm hanging it out trying to catch back up.
Here it's lap four and my first time hitting the pro line. So here we're getting towards the end of the lap. There he is just up ahead. Still just 10 seconds behind, but little do I know, my clock's about to run out. So after three laps of not having any issues, I for some reason decide to drift too far right, slamming into the face of this berm, sending me up and over the bars through the air. Here I'm contemplating how bad this is about to hurt. Next thing I know, I'm on my feet and don't feel any pain but then I see my bike. Within no time, was surrounded by great people, riders and spectators, doing what they could to make sure I was all right. Nathan Cheats being one of them. I'm all right, dude. I'm all right, nothing's broke. You all right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. For wrecking like that and throwing my race away, come on guys, hit that subscribe button. Don't worry boys, we'll be back.